yes people and we're back in another american truck simulator and today we are driving the kenwood w900 this is a 625 horsepower engine we're rocking with today and we are going to be pulling a power generator and currently we are in carlson city now we're heading into a quarry to pick up this generator we'll stop here for a second and talk to the security to find out where the generator is all right security tell us that the generator is on the hill now we will take a little drive around to see if we could find it because this is the first time we have been inside of this quarry so we're not too certain exactly where it would be all right they're looking like the generator is right on top of the hill as the security said and uh, guys um this look like a pretty 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 close to be driving a kind of long truck here and we need to we need to turn around so let's um see where we can turn around this truck without touching anything because the space we have to work within is very constrained Alright, I think we could make it here. I have to look at that shoot in the mirror. Make sure and don't touch the shoot and the plant to cause any damage to the equipment. Using my two mirrors to make sure I don't make a mistake. to back up come on Kirti come on balance our clutch all right well successful so let's see if we could head up and put that generator on the truck Right, we're backing up now. We need to take it easy. Because remember we have one advanced trailer coupling. We put that on on the truck in the last video we did in American Truck Simulator. Right, then we make sure the load is secure. Everything look like it ready and good to go. So we'll be heading off in a few few. Alright, well time to go. Um we need to take it easy going down this little incline here. Because we have a narrow space to pass through. So we need to kind of make sure the generator don't hit that little curb. And this little, what, what is that? Um, that little box with that gravel. Make sure that the front eye truck don't touch it either. All right, it look like we we we're safe. We come out safely. All right, so we heading off to Reno with this power generator and we will be going a little hard on the road because the customer really need this generator on time 
so we will be putting my foot down to the floor with this 625 horsepower Kenwood. So guys, hold on to your seat. It's going to be a fast ride. to have a little talk about the fuel prices now fuel went up and I am seeing truckers complaining about the fuel cost and the cost of freight going down now if I think I understand trucking the way that trucking should be you should make a profit while pulling your loads enough to maintain the truck enough to pay the driver and enough for any um and your profit your profit right so tell me this if freight is going down fuel prices is up how the truckers are supposed to make their money because remember if you're dealing with a broker you can't change the price yes you could say i'm not pulling this load because it's not profitable but the, the, the question is how many loads can you not pull because remember running a business is about time so the less loads you run the less money you make right so you might have to and while picking and choosing your um you might be wasting time in other words because you're not carrying enough loads within the given month to meet installments if you have it or Pay workers if you have workers. Well, if you're a owner operator, you need to live, you need to survive. So, less, less you freight, less money. So, it's a little difficult time for truckers. Um, I don't know how they would go about um, covering the cost of. parts and all of that because it seemed like a pretty tough market we had heading into right but it is what it is no i hope that all the truckers and them on the road would find a way to weather the storm and keep their business running um, we, right, so this um, yard we're going to in Reno, it should be a little um, a little construction yard. We should be carrying this power generator to. Now, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel. There's a PayPal me link in the description below. You are free to donate, you are free to support, you are free to like and dislike. So we're heading off to the destination. We're almost there.
guys well I could see we um meet the yard it's a pretty small yard but um I think we could make this generator fit it's a pretty small generator so let's see as best as we could fit this generator in the spot that the customer wants it and make everyone happy